Hey beautiful Libras, welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you so much for joining me here. Thank you for all your generosity, your kindness. I do appreciate it. Let's go. Messages for the beautiful Librans. Let's go Libra. Loving woman. Family, friends, and guides. Joyous fun. The vast universe. Hmm. Somebody is in the consciousness of lack. Wanting to keep the peace here. What's going on? Playing it safe. Trying to keep the peace. Someone is feeling like the victim. Hmm, something happening here. Hang on here now. It's all going to have a happy ending. Just keep persevering. You are manifesting your individuality and your compassion. You may have to surrender someone uh, they're in consciousness of lack, victim mentality. They're trying to play it safe. Trying to be the peacekeeper, but the, the bottom line is you have to make a decision here. What's going on? Let's go. Libra. Or your own time. Give it meaning. Don't let something pass you by. Continue to make the most of every open door. Give yourself some credit for how far you've come. It's okay to be different. Don't try so hard to fit in. Maybe someone around you or you yourself are trying to. The luck will turn in your favor if you keep going. Don't allow a scarcity mindset to limit your success. Don't compare your life to others. This is your own journey. You're going to make mistakes and it's okay sometimes. You learn by messing up. A powerful change will transform your life. You are under construction. Please be patient. Realize you have all the qualities to be a leader. True love will find you in the end. You have this happy ending. Okay. Libra. So something may have ended. Uh, doubt, hesitation, confusion. Someone is like in dark thoughts and negativity. It could be Gemini, astrology sign of Gemini here. So somebody may have like ended something. Someone is playing it safe. It's like... <sighs> Sweetness. Hard work. So somebody has created an obstacle. Difficulty blockages. Stalled opposition. Hmm. <laughs> and sitting back, 
sitting back pretending like they're just playing it safe. They're feeding into someone's victim mentality. Oh my God. Your luck is going to change. You're heading out on a journey and true love is going to find you in the end. A loyal. See somebody. I don't know. Uh, someone is playing uh, the victim here. They're playing the victim. So here you are. You, you, Libra, your luck is changing. New doors are opening for you. Someone was playing the victim here. And they were playing victim to someone who they were just I don't know dark thoughts and negative energy Guys, oh, yes, they are. This person is starting to figure something out about, I don't know, Gemini keeps coming up here many, many times. So it's like someone was in their shadow self could have been lust anything in excess materialism But they're finding that a burden now. They might have been a message here. It could be a text or communication, an expression about, wait a sec, what does this person want to say to Libra? What does this person want to say to Libra? Your true love is already part of your life. This relationship can stand the test of time. But one person was giving too much in the relationship. It's like someone is secretly yearning for you. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. 
you are safe and divinely guided. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Try something you have never done before. This is a destined partnership. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy one another. Soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you. And if someone is disrespecting you, they're not your soulmate. Not the one you're meant to stay with. So let's get you some financial messages here. Libra, Libra, please. These are money blockages. Things that you need to know about that might be blocking your finances. For Libra. Oh, saying it's out of reach. Don't chase money. Call it to you. Expect it to come. Say things like, I am a money magnet. Oh, only the rich get ahead. Or it's only for the rich. That is a fallacy. Money isn't just for some people. It's for you too. I accept money freely. Feeling unsatisfied. What are you here to do? Create your life purpose. I'm happy with my life. These are things you can do. Oh, I can never win. I can't win. It's not a competition. You've got this. Keep your eyes on the prize. I achieve my money goals. Somebody's got to switch the way that they're talking about money. Someone's got to change the way that they speak about money or success. Though these statements are all blockages. I don't have enough. There is plenty to go around. Feel yourself in the flow. I have plenty of money. It's like... Like, money is evil. You can do a lot of good and help others with money. It Money isn't evil. It's what you do with it. I am generous with money. Like, somebody is under a philosophy that they don't have enough. Under the philosophy, well, it's out of reach for me. I can never have that. It's only for rich people. I, I'm not feeling, I'm feeling unfulfilled. All those statements send that energy out to the universe. And that's why you cannot manifest. When you start saying the opposites of those things, you will release those blockages. I have a family member who does this all the time. Says it to me all the time. And I get angry sometimes at them even saying it. They go, yeah, that's for only rich people. Or I could never afford that. Or, uh, <clears throat> you know. I'm not going to go any further on that. <laughs> it's a negative mindset. Look at all the good you can do with money. Look at all the people you can help with money. Look at all the wonderful things you can achieve with money and help people with money. Someone's in a negative mindset about money. Shh, judgments. Uh, 
this is like a defeatist attitude that someone doesn't see. <laughs> the universe is generous, but someone is saying, oh, well, that I don't have enough. I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Where a positive attitude would say, the universe is unlimited. The universe can provide so that I can provide to others. This is like, goof off, jo have enjoyment, laughter. Somebody is like, someone's very insecure. There could be, yeah, like, I don't have enough. Uh, I, I don't know. You are a leader here. Here you are, working. It's like you tried to show the way, but this is a woe-begotten energy. This is like someone being depressed, feeling like they don't have enough. Like, I, I don't know. It's a fear mentality or it's a, a negative mindset, thinking negatively. It could be about work. It's a scarcity mindset. Saying things like, I don't never have enough, I'm broke, I'm this, I'm that. Those are all sending messages out to the universe that they don't have to provide you anything. And resentful and bitter and angry. I don't know. It's like you're attracting. This is the power of attraction. So somebody's feeling like a victim because you are attracting finances to yourself, creative ideas. Um... I don't understand this. Oh my God. A sabotaging mindset. Somebody better change their mindset. They're thinking dark thoughts. Yeah, they are. They're thinking dark thoughts. And like, this person's mentality is like, lick it. I can manifest all this wealth and prosperity because look how generous that I can be with that. I, I can help out my family. I can help out this one. I can help out that one. Uh, somebody is like, Uh, yeah. 
they're playing the victim. Someone's playing the victim. It is. It's like... <sighs> yeah, this is the one that was hurt. But they're playing the victim. I don't understand this. Why they allow people to control their thoughts, I'll never know. So somebody might be regretting what they said or regretting something. It's okay to make mistakes. That's how you learn. Your, your soulmate is already a part of your life. But somebody's negative mindset caused them to walk away. can't, like, afraid to trust. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay. As long as you learn from those mistakes. It's like... It's saying true love will find you in the end. But it's like your true love is already part of your life. So like you are everything you need. Just the belief in yourself and to believe in true love and to believe that you can have whatever it is you're seeking. It's already a part of you. It's not off in the distance. It's already with you. Believe that and that's what you will manifest. If you look at it as it's always far away or off in the distance, that's where it'll always stay. That's why a lot of people, they get out of relationships as well because they, they're they like, you know, this is it. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> Your true love is already part of your life. Why are you looking for something else? Not seeing what was placed before them. Always thinking, well, there's someone else. There's someone else. There's someone else. Not seeing that they already had it in their hand. Wow. If 
you always look at something that it's far off, there's where it will always remain. This relationship deserves a second chance. Everything happens for a reason. You question you have to ask yourself, does this situation align with your values and your morals? Take care.